going to show but um, just to be on the safe side depending on how full you want it or how um, how loose you want it yeah how loose you want it um, I would suggest going with white I will tell you this plan ahead give yourself enough time because the more time you have before you start a project the cheaper it's going to be okay so let's get started bye so the first thing to do is measure your elastic. Decide where you want your skirt to sit. I'm going with high waist, but leaving some room to change my mind. Make sure not to overstretch the elastic during this step because overstretching will cause you to cut less than you need. Don't forget to leave at least three inches for tying or for seam allowance. Cut and tie your elastic onto your mannequin. If you don't have a mannequin, a chair, friend, or boyfriend will work just as well. The next thing you want to do is measure your tool. Place the end of the strip of tool where you want the skirt to begin. I want my skirt high-waisted and knee length, so I'm starting it at my waist and ending it just below my knee. When you know how long it should be, multiply that by two and cut your first strip. You should have a strip twice as long as what you measured because it'll be folded in half. Use this as a guide to cut the remaining strips. Cut neatly, but don't worry too much about how straight it is because the beautiful thing about this method and the tool used is that it won't show and it doesn't fray. Also, don't worry about getting to the end of the spool. Just remove it carefully to avoid damage. It'll still blend nicely with the skirt. Now that all your material is prepared, you're halfway through. Gather two to three of your cut strips, making sure to line up the ends. 
Because you're folding them over, the more strips you use, the fuller the skirt will be. When you start looping, the skirt may not look as full as you would like, but trust me, you'll thank me once you're done. Two to three is all you need. Here's the basic loop. Take the folded end of the fabric and tuck it into the elastic band from the top. The motion that you want is up and over. Place your thumb and index finger in the loop and grab the tail of the fabric. Pull it through and tighten the resulting knot enough to hold it in place, but still make it easier to make adjustments. The knot should remind you of a men's tie. Straighten the elastic as much as you can, but don't get hung up if it twists or folds on itself. Remember, this will not be showing at the end. After a few more times, your skirt should look like this. Here's a different angle if you miss that. Keep looping till you've gone around the entire band. At this point, you can finish the skirt in a variety of ways. You can tie it around your waist and use one of the free strips of tool to cover the elastic. Use a sturdy brooch to secure and add a unique touch to your skirt if you're wearing it alone. You can also sew the band together, but this works best for slim or straighter figures. You can attach a buckle from an old belt or any fastener of your choice from a fabric or craft store. Here's my skirt styled for the first church service of the year. Since I'm all for no fuss, I opted out of selling an inner layer and wore it over a fitted skirt from my closet. This worked great because of the chilly weather. I finished the look with a black leather belt for some edge and a statement necklace for a little more color. Let me know what you think of this method and share your suggestions and creations in the comment box below. More tutorials to come, so make sure you hit subscribe. Thanks for watching! But it's no. gonna be slow, so cover it up like this. You have to tighten it.